today, we are talking to a group of women, not celebrities. These are your neighbors, your friends that are speaking their truth and perhaps speaking your truth too. I have five beautiful kids, ages 10 and under with twins at the end. I've never dreamed of being a mom. I still don't. I don't have five kids and that's okay. I was always one of those girls that said, I never want any kids, but now I love it, even though it has its ups and downs, and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Motherhood has not been a simple journey, but it has been the most fulfilling journey of my life. Even when I was a little kid, I remember feeling like I was supposed to love playing with baby dolls, but it just never clicked for me. And I think it's really important that we normalize women saying that. Motherhood for me is, chaotic and it's all about continuous growth and sacrificial love. I'm honored to be a mother and I feel like being a mother has helped me become the best version of myself. Some women choose to create families and others choose to create companies and some choose to create both. Women are creators, period. All of our desires are not the same and that is okay. Indeed, it is okay. I've never wanted to hang out with a group of women so much in my life than those speaking their truth in that video. So guess what? Joining us are some of the women you just saw, Mallory Nuttall, Kimberly Foster, Michelle Pearson, and Diane Sung. Welcome, ladies. I like kicking this off with you because I, I, I appreciate how honest all of you were in those video diaries. As we just saw, you have very different opinions on what it means to be a woman and how motherhood, which is our first chapter, if you will, in this discussion, how we're defined by motherhood. So Kimberly, you say that you have no desire whatsoever to bring, in your words, a human onto this planet. You say it just doesn't look fun. Yeah, you know, I am blessed to have two incredible nieces who are almost eight years old. And there's nothing that I love more than hanging out with them. And there's nothing that I love more than leaving at the end of the night, right? <laughs> like, I appreciate <laughs> being able to separate myself. I love my free time. I love my freedom. I just think the thought of having to make sure uh, a child eats every day and does their homework and cleaning up the poop and the puke, it's just not for me. It's just not for me. <laughs> you know, when you tell people that, and I love how honest you are, by the way, you're just laying it out there. You're not sugarcoating it. You're like, uh, it is what it is and understand it. You know, do you think that people make assumptions that you're selfish or that's what I always thought that people are oh, well, she put her career first or she's selfish or that how could you not have a maternal mm -hmm. instinct? What's wrong with you? Yeah, people absolutely assume the worst about me when I talk about my desire to not have children. But I think it's really important for us to embrace women want different things for our lives, you know? And if we encourage women to be honest, we can avoid some really catastrophic outcomes. I've seen people talk about how they regret having children and how miserable they are. Like, that is not in the best interest of the child or the mother. So let's just be real about it. Yeah, Michelle, let's be real about it. You have five kids. You say your life mm -hmm. would not be fulfilling with out them. And I'm curious about that because, you know, like, again, since I'm a mom, I can bring this in. I, I can't imagine life without Moses, but here's the breaking news. I do remember my life without him. And I, I feel guilty when I say that. I feel guilty on Saturday mornings when I'm like, are you kidding me? It's 6 a.m. But I love every moment with him. But this, def so, but, but being a mom defines you? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I had my first when I was almost 27 years old, so I got to do some fun things. Obviously, I didn't wait as long as a lot of people around me. But for me, being a mom has just changed who I am as a person. And I feel like it's taken every aspect of myself as a woman and it's magnified it and it's made it better. And I've only become more of myself as I've been able to sacrifice things and go through really difficult things. You know, you give up your body, you give up your time, you give up your energy, but it shapes you into who you are. So before you had the children, do you remember life as it was? Oh yeah. And I it wasn't <laughs> and it wasn't a fulfilling existence for you as a woman. It it definitely was, but I knew I wanted more. I come from an immigrant mother who is from Thailand, and she came from just a small family. And I feel honored that I can carry on that Thai heritage through my children. Mallory, I didn't get to you in the first part of the break. You, you said you were a first generation of, of women in your family to value independence and careers over kids. You're now 32, and you feel like this outsider when discussing this, particularly with family. 
What kind of pressure are oh, they putting yeah. on you? So I come from a Mexican family with, and everybody has a big family. So I myself am one out of five siblings. My mom is one out of seven. My nana is from Mexico. And so the heritage aspect of it and just the culture, we were raised as like women grow up, they get married, they have babies. Like that is the norm. You go to my family reunions and that's the story. You know, I look around and I see all my cousins married, had kids, divorced and then married again. And I'm like, man, I don't even have a boyfriend. Like, what is this? <laughs> but I think the pressure that happens is when I am talking to my Nana or my Thea and they're like, so when are you getting married? It's almost like this pressure that just like, what's wrong with you? Like you're 32, you don't even have a boyfriend. How do you like, answer what's it wrong? now? It's How do you answer it? <laughs> uh, recently, you know, I used to fight it a lot. I used to get really defensive. And now I just use humor to kind of go over it. And I say, well, you know, I actually am in a very healthy relationship. And they're like, oh my gosh, who is he? I'm like, with myself. Oh. <laughs> That's yeah. it. I this love is it. a recent revelation. Like this is not <laughs> anything that I have just been like living like this my entire right. life. You know, 31 years of pressure. It gets to be a little much. And yeah. then it becomes this internal dialogue that you kind of embody. And I just realized, you know, I was actually currently at the time in a relationship. And the interesting mm -hmm. thing, I was seeing myself sacrificing what I thought would be an ideal relationship because of the pressure of my age. Mm. You know, I'm 31. I'm in a relationship. This has to work. You know, I have to get married. Mm. I have to have family. Not that I would say that, but that's what that, those pressures start to make you feel. So it almost made me settle. Right. And it was kind of this defining moment where I was like, actually, no, no like more family no and marriage. Right. Yeah. No more.